one place for me to go on this winning Monday morning. You had the Dolphins get a victory on the road, which never seems to happen. You had the Seminoles pulling out of the rear uh, to many people's chagrin. And, of course, that's where I'll go. The play. Now, anyone who watched college football this Saturday knows of the play I speak of. Now, if you're a Notre Dame bias, you probably have a different sentiment than I do. And I'm trying to be unbiased on this one. And as I watched Notre Dame score that touchdown, I sunk in my chair. Saw a penalty flag, and I assumed, because if you look at the penalty discrepancy, it's very heavy Notre Dame. And both teams are coached well, so don't give me, well, they're coached. No. The, the, the defending champion is in Tallahassee, okay? So when it's slided in one way, it's a little weird. And it was slided heavily toward Notre Dame. So I saw a flag and assumed, game over, it's defensive holding. Well, you saw the replay, oh, it was holding, but on the offense. It was both, now one receiver, and yes, Jalen Ramsey engaged. First of all, the defender's allowed to engage within five yards. The offender's not allowed to hold six yards down the field. That's one. Two, anyone who wants to discount that one, there's a second receiver blatantly holding Ronald Darby, who, if you look at the play, is clearly running up to make a play on the receiver who scored the touchdown. You don't like the call? Fine. That being said, there are rules for a reason, and if they hadn't called it, it would be the same travesty that those Notre Dame world feel. Florida State won the game. The refs didn't give it to them. Notre Dame lost tragically, difficultly. That being said, Florida State won, and the refs didn't hand them the victory. This is the Lube Tube.